the Cowboys, the Rams, Rams favored by five and a half, over under 42 and a half. Thoughts on this one? Uh, I'm going to take the Cowboys to cover this. This defense has been playing really well. The, um, the Rams have been kind of ho-hum. They struggle against teams that have been playing really good defense, right? The Bills, they struggled. The Niners, they struggled. These these subpar defensive teams, the, or the Rams have been able to kind of feast. Um, but like it or not, the Cowboys are one of the top defenses in the NFL right now. And they're able to force a lot of turnovers. They're flying around the football. Yes, Cooper Cup is going to get his, but I think everybody else is going to kind of be stymied. So I'm taking the Cowboys here to cover. I'm going to – man, I'm going to take the under because I think just barely. I think it is just barely. It might end up being, you know, 41, you know, 41, maybe even 42. But the hook is what got me here. So I'm going to take the Cowboys in the under here. I like it. Um, I'm also taking the Cowboys to cover. I think that this is be a yeah, – the Cowboys have been playing pretty well. Um, you know, even without Dak, even without – yeah, you know, really kind of finding a way to grind things out, keep games in lower scoring affairs and keep things close. Um, so I do like the fact that, uh, that I, I think the Cowboys, you know, five and a half, I think is way too big of a number for the, uh, the Rams that have to cover on this one. And I do think that the under is going to happen here as well. I do like the fact that uh, I'm kind of right there in the same narrative that, that you are, that this one not going to surprise me when we look up and see this one end 20 to 17, um, yeah, something to something like that as far as this this line total goes. Uh, one of the over unders that as far as the props that I really liked, you were talking about uh, Cooper Cup getting his. I think Kyler Higby is another guy that is going to get his in this game here as well. Uh, really, there's only two guys that Stafford seems to be throwing the ball around to, and I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take Higby's over 49 and a half receiving yards. No, I. I like that one. Uh, Higby is a good streaming option, right? And and I shouldn't say streaming. You're not picking him up on the waiver wire. But if you're bouncing around, maybe you have him. You got him late. If you were Kyle Pitts' owner, right, and you started him early, you can feel comfortable starting Tyler Higby this week. Um, his performance year to date has been well worth it. So uh, the prop I like in this game, Michael Gallup over 37 and a half, right? Uh, you know, and I think it's a nice low total. I think he's able to get there, you know, four or five receptions for, you know, 54 yards is kind of where I think he's going to end up. So uh, I, I like this 37 and a half. I think it's really, really achievable for Michael Gallup. 